Hey guys, how's it going? Phil here from PRC Taping with another video for you today. I'm gonna to be talking about how to properly clean and maintain your Columbia automatic taper. So here we go. So straight out of the box, this is what the automatic taper looks like. Nice and clean, ready to go. So after a full day of running the automatic taper, you're gonna have a little bit of mud on here. So what I like to do on site, is I like to have a clean bucket of water, I like to dump the automatic taper head in, let it soak for a little bit. Then I'll take a brush and I'll clean all of the outside of the automatic taper just to get rid of any of the loose mud uh, so it doesn't dry up. Let it sit in there for a little bit longer. Then what I'll do is I'll just pull this taper cap off and just pull some of that other mud in there out with a sponge and a brush. And then I'll do this next step. So after I've cleaned all of the excess mud off of the outside in the automatic taper on the job site, what I like to do is bring it home and I clean it with a hose or a pressure washer and you wanna make sure you're cleaning all of the moving parts, all the gears, the chains, and all the mechanisms because it's really important that this stays very clean. So make sure you take the taper cap off, you're cleaning all of the gears and all the mechanisms to make sure that that's nice and clean for the next time you use it. So again, use a hose or a pressure washer to really get in there and clean those parts really well. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, and it is the most important thing, is oiling the automatic taper. I use an oil uh, spray called Fluid film, it works really, really great for this. I like to use it before and after I run the automatic taper. So when I put it away, I usually store it with the oil on it and I spray every little mechanism and moving part, the chains, the wheels. I'll even spray a little bit where the cutter sleeve is. And most importantly, I like to spray in there. I actually keep a little bit of a sponge in there at all times. Um, I keep it damp so that uh, mud doesn't dry up in there. But you can spray it with oil as well if you don't have that sponge. But you want to make sure you're always oiling that before and after use and before you put it away before you do your next job. So over time you're going to have some wearing parts on an automatic taper depending on how often you use it as well. I'm going to show you three maintenance kits here. Here are the links to them below. But I'm going to just show you a couple of the maintenance kits here that you can get for your automatic taper. So the first maintenance kit I want to show you is the taper head repair kit maintenance kit. So this one comes with mostly bushings and the gear for the end of your taper cap but that's what that maintenance kit looks like. And again, with all of the maintenance kits, you can scan that QR code, which goes directly to a video on how to change that. So this repair kit is one of the more common ones. This one comes with two blades, a spring, it comes with two needles, the cable, and the clutch return spring. And again, like all of the maintenance kits, it comes with a QR code there to scan to know how to properly change that. So the final maintenance kit I wanna show you is this one, it's not as common, but this is the cutter block assembly maintenance kit. In case you need to change that, they have a maintenance kit for this. And again, like all of them, they have that QR code on the back to easily change that. That was a quick overview, guys, of how to properly clean and maintain your automatic taper with all the maintenance parts. The links down below that I showed previously, you always wanna make sure that your automatic taper is oiled up and ready to go before you use it. Thanks for watching, have a good one.